This video lesson serves as an introduction to topographic maps. We will be making a three-dimensional topographic map from templates and foam board. Yan Wei Fang is the original author of this lesson plan, with narration done by Derek Smetzer. This video was made possible through the NSF-funded Board of Knowledge in the Science Classroom Project at Ohio University. Topography is the study of the shape and features of a surface. Researchers and scientists are generally interested in the Earth's surface or in the surfaces of other planetary bodies, but this definition can extend to the surface of any object. Topographic maps are simply crude representations of different surfaces. These types of maps can provide insight into how a surface is shaped, and they serve as useful, useful tools for identifying surface features or terrain, like mountain ranges, valleys, or river systems, to name a few. To illustrate the concept of topography further, let's take a look at the surface of a leaf in the picture. How would you describe the surface of this leaf? Is it smooth or rough? Does it have any unique features? What about the ridges? And how would you describe the edges of the leaf? Take a moment to write down identifying features or perhaps any textures you might associate with the surface of this leaf. Discuss your descriptions of the leaf with others in your class and compare your answers. You may want to pause the video here before moving on. What you have just done could be considered a form of topography. You could do the same with the features of the palm of your hands, or the surface of an insect, or really any surface in general. For the remainder of this video, we will be focusing on the surface of the earth instead of leaves or other objects. Topographic maps are detailed, accurate graphical representations of features that appear on the earth's surface. Defining features in a topographic map may include things like hydrology, transportation systems, vegetation, and relief. This video focuses primarily on elevation, so we will ignore other features for now. However, it is important to keep in mind that a topographic map may include all or some of these features simultaneously. For example, the United States Geological Survey map on the right includes hydrological features like lakes and rivers, as well as roadways, state parks, and elevation contours. To create a topographic map of elevation, we create imaginary lines of equal elevation, called contours, to give us a rough idea of surface terrain. These contours provide an accentuated or exaggerated portrayal of surface elevation relative to mean sea level, which is defined as zero elevation. Contour lines have units of length, such as feet or meters, and higher resolution topographic maps will generally have more contour lines. While topo maps are generally two-dimensional, we are able to get a rough understanding of the elevation, the third dimension, through contour lines and construct a 3D image of that surface in our minds. Another important concept to topographic maps is slope, or the change in elevation between contour lines. As in the image on the right, when there are many contour lines closer together, the slope of the surface at that point is steeper. When the contour lines are spaced further apart, the slope of the surface is flatter. In this way, we are able to distinguish between features like a cliff face or a small hill. Can you imagine what the contour lines for these features might look like on a topo map? The left image would have a topo similar to this with cluttered contours while the image on the right would have a topo with sparse contours. Take a look at the topographic image on the left. Which of the four surfaces on the right gives the most accurate representation of this topographic map? The contour lines are separated at 25 foot intervals with the lowest elevation at 0 feet and the highest elevation at 125 feet. Take a few minutes to choose your answer before moving on. You may pause the video here Let's consider each of the surfaces in detail. 
The topmost surface has one peak, the steeper slope to the left, and a gentler slope to the right. This surface cannot be represented by the topo map because the topo has two peaks. So this leaves the last three surfaces which have two peaks each. The second surface has two peaks of equal height. The peak on the left has steep slopes to either side, while the peak on the right has a gentler slope to the left and a steeper slope to the right. However, the peaks are of equal height, while in the topo, the right peak is higher. Similarly, the fourth surface has two peaks of similar size. This leaves only the third surface. The peaks of this surface are of differing height, and the slopes are represented of those depicted on the topo map. Now that we are somewhat familiarized with topographic maps, you will try your hand at creating a 3D topo map. For this activity, you will need a pair of scissors, a poster board, glue, an X-Acto knife, or a precision blade, and a printout of a topographic map of your choosing. It is best to select a map that has somewhere between 7 and 10 contours. More contours will give your 3D map more definition, but it may be difficult to cut out the smaller contour areas and it will take a little bit more time as well. The topo map shown here is the one I use for this demonstration. To begin, start out by cutting along the outline of the first contour, most likely the lowest elevation contour depending on your printout. Next, glue the contour area to your poster board. Make sure it sticks and does not easily move around. Using the precision blade, carefully trace along the outline of the contour until you've completed the outline. The cutout should easily pop out of the poster board, but you may need to retrace the outline with your blade. Set this first contour area aside, then follow the same procedure as previously explained on the next contour area, or the second lowest elevation contour. After you have cut the second contour area out of the poster board, Apply glue to the back side and place it on top of the first contour area. Continue cutting and pasting the contour areas until you have the entire 3D topo map constructed. It should look somewhat similar to the one shown here. To summarize, topography is a study of surfaces, particularly the Earth's surface. Topographic maps are maps which exhibit features of the Earth's surface. Elevation maps are a subset of topographic maps. Contour lines are imaginary lines of equal elevation. Slope is a change in elevation over two or more contour lines. Steeper slopes correspond to closer contour lines, while gentler slopes correspond to sparse contour lines.